Hey boys, it's Arm9. Today we're going to be customizing and reviewing the V65 Molotov in Grand Theft Auto Online. I've never owned this plane before. I don't even think I've ever flown it. So I'm actually really excited about this. I've been wanting to pick this plane up for a long, long time. And I figured today was the time to do it because I'm working on a video that's going to come out. I don't know when, hopefully soon. And this vehicle is going to be a part of it. So anyway, let's get into the customization and the review. All right, guys. So we are in the workshop here. I'm going to start off with the armor on this thing, go all the way up on that. For the countermeasures, we do have the option to put on chaff or flares. Uh, chaff, I think, prevents missile lock on, and I believe flares just redirect missiles. We do get 20 flares or we get 10 chaffs. I think we'll go for chaff. I feel like it's a little bit better. I don't really know for sure, but we'll go for that. Now, we can add drop tanks to this thing. I'm not really sure exactly what these do, but I kind of like the look of it, so let's do it. For the engine, we are going to upgrade that all the way on this thing and for the handling we do have four options technically i think we're going to go for race handling because i like my planes to just be as responsive as possible i find it to be really useful so we'll go for that now as for the liveries we do have some really really cool ones we've got the cherenikov vodka that is a sick livery i really like that we've got the simple stars sprayed three color arid three color dark desert two-tone stripes forest three color digital woodland or jungle fighter and sprayed half camo and that's it so i don't really know which one to go for i kind of like the simple stars look i feel like that's really clean so i think we're gonna go for that one now for the respray of the actual plane itself ooh, <laughs> could go with could go with a red that's uh that's always an option could go with a black could go with a white I kind of like this thing in a frost white. I think that looks really good. We're going to go for that, I think. Now for the secondary color, what does this do? Ah, okay. Hmm. Well, I got to say I do like that. Maybe we'll go for a matte red and maybe we'll actually switch the primary to a matte ice white. I think that looks a little better. I mean, I kind of like the frost white better, but I feel like this looks pretty clean. Now as for the weapons, we can add homing missiles to this thing and it has the machine guns automatically on it. So let's add homing missiles why not and of course if you guys are interested you can sell this vehicle once it is fully upgraded for 2.1 million dollars now this thing is an expensive vehicle i just bought this for 4.7 million so that's a lot less than half but anyways i don't plan on selling it let's take this thing outside we are gonna see what this thing is like to actually fly and we're gonna see what else we can do with it all right guys starting off let's see okay takes off uh takes off pretty pretty quickly the handling of it feels pretty good it feels pretty responsive i feel like it's got a pretty tight yeah it's definitely got a pretty tight uh turning circle that's for sure of course i can fire the chaff that is really cool now these of course are not explosive machine guns these are just regular machine guns so it's going to be a little bit challenging to actually take out ground targets with these Yeah, it's uh, you're not gonna get much work done with the with the machine guns on this thing. That is the unfortunate part. I wish these were explosive, but at the same time, I can see you know why they're not. If they just made every you know aircraft in the game have explosive cannons, then the Hydra and the laser wouldn't be so special. Now this thing is armored to a degree. I know that for sure. I'm not exactly sure how armored. I've heard that you can probably take two or three homing missiles with this thing before it blows up, which is pretty good. Oh, and we're getting shot at now. Of course, we do have the homing missiles too, though. Oh, what am I locked on to? I was locked on to something there. I think I actually have the cops after me right now. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, I definitely do. Oh my god. Okay, well, the homing missiles are pretty good. They're definitely not as good as like the oppressor's missiles or something like that, but they're, you know, they're all right. They get the job done. Clearly, they get the job done. Uh... <laughs> I'm not really having issues taking out these cops with them, that's for sure. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this plane. It's, uh, I feel like it's probably not worth the price of it, but it is a really, really cool plane. I just like the look of it more than anything else. I mean, it's, it's pretty sick looking. It reminds me of like a Vietnam era jet. 
And I think that's exactly what it's based off of. So I guess, you know, I guess really Rockstar did a pretty good job with it. Yeah, guys, I think overall it's a pretty solid plan. I don't know that I would recommend buying it. Only if you have a absolute ton of money in Grand Theft Auto Online would I recommend picking this thing up. But it is still a really cool looking plane. So I can't really knock it. It's not the worst plane I've ever flown. There's not really anything particularly wrong with it. I just kind of wish that it had, you know, maybe some better cannons, something like that. That's that's really the only thing that I would want from this. It's just better cannons. But it does have the countermeasures, which is cool. It has homing missiles, and it does still have machine guns, even though they're, you know, not really that great. They are still there. So anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to do more customizations and reviews of planes. Um, I have no problem doing them. So if you guys want to see them, let me know. I'm taking requests always. If you guys want to see something, let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.